hold hands. You good? Yeah. All right. <laughs> check, check. Everyone can hear me? Hear me in the back? We're good? Thumbs up? Perfect. Happy Saturday, everybody. And welcome. You may be seated. Uh, I might do this. It might be a little easier. <clears throat> what a gorgeous day. If uh, Helen Sams were here today, she would say it's a dandy. <laughs> um, on behalf of, of Lynn and Steve Palmer and Greg and Arlette Sams and all the staff here at the luxurious Redneck Riviera Hotel and Casino, <laughs> welcome. <clears throat> we want to thank you for... <laughs> i got to get him to stop crying. <laughs> we want to thank you for coming today to enjoy this celebration of, of love and commitment between Brian and Kelsey. Each one of you was invited today because you have a special place in their hearts and their lives. So again, thank you. For those of, uh, I see some faces in the crowd that I'll step aside here. I know the sun's blinding some of you and I apologize. <laughs> For some of you that haven't met, my name is Casey Sams. I am the oldest brother of the bride. The only brother. <laughs> I belong to her too. <laughs> and uh, I'm quite excited today to be officiating this ceremony. Um, thank you for having me. I'm still a little shocked, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we'll get through this together. You guys can think of me as your uh, love boat captain today on this <laughs> pontoon ride ceremony. Why so. <laughs> I think Greg would have been a better option. <laughs> wow. Here we go. I wanted to take a second to think about the setting here. I know, again, the sun is uh, in many of your guys' eyes, but it is quite gorgeous here. And I wanted to start the ceremony by just taking a moment of silence to reflect on the environment we're in, the people that we have with us, and also the loved ones that couldn't be here today. Again, when I uh, thought about the location and the setting and, and Brian and Kelsey first told me where this event would take place, I was quite ecstatic because as you think about it, there's a number of, I guess, symbolic images that you could come to mind that make you think about not only nature, but oh, oh, no. eh, there goes our tree. Uh, um, not only nature, but the importance of relationships and a man and woman coming together, the love 
and commitment it takes to have a successful relationship. So, Brian, yes. when you think of the North Woods, <laughs> what's the first symbolic image that comes to your mind? Uh, the beauty of the sun reflecting off the lake. Not snowmobiling. There you go. And snowmobiling. And snowmobiling. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Let's be real. <laughs> Kelsey, what's the first symbolic image of the North Woods that comes to your mind? Fishing on the lake. Fishing on the lake. Mother dearest, what's the first image of the North Woods that pops into your mind? The lake, the eagle, the loons. The loons. The loons. The loons. The loons. See, that was a loaded question because every time my mom talks about the North Woods, she talks about the loons. And if you think about loons, if you've done any research, I know Uncle Danny's a, a science teacher, biology. He could probably get up here and wax poetic, but I'll, I'll give you the short, the short, I guess, story here. Loons are probably what I consider to be the best role model for Brian and Kelsey because they're a lifelong couple that mates. They spend their pretty much the majority of their life together as a team. As a team, they build their home, the nest, they protect it, they raise their offspring together. They're providers, much like many of the Samses, they're great fishermen and women, birds. Although some of the Samses are better at fish stories than actually bringing home <laughs> dinner, but that's a different story. Um, they, they travel together, so they have fun. Go down south, Mexico, live it up during the winter. <laughs> and lastly, they, while they're very welcoming, they're friends and their family, they're also protective of their boundaries. And this is important in a relationship, to protect your boundaries. And what I learned the last time, I was up here two weeks ago, and a good friend of mine who's a loon aficionado told me that essentially you might have one pair of loons that will live on a lake because that's all that ecosystem can support. But you have friends and family coming by as they're navigating, heading south. Loons, like in a relationship, you welcome your friends and family into your life. But at a certain point, they gotta move on. So with that, it's gonna take a second. Bear with me. Yeah, this might not work, so we're gonna have to improvise. Yeah, regard. Didn't work. So We'll move on. The loon, as the uh, overseer of this official ceremony, I am uh, hereby naming them the official spirit animal of your relationship. <laughs> so before you two lovebirds oh boy. go off and get matching tattoos, oh gosh. <laughs> we'll uh, move on to more practical advice, and that's coming from humans. So Kelsey and Brian, if you don't mind, just take a quick gander into the crowd. What you'll notice is there's a lot of couples out there that have many, many years of experience. There's a lot that you can learn from them. And my suggestion to you later on, dinner time, maybe after a cocktail or two, <laughs> you ask them what piece of advice they could give you that they found worked best for them to help their marriage strengthen and see the many years and decades that have come. For this ceremony, I thought it was important that I offered you a couple pieces of advice. <laughs> oh God. But I've only been married for a short period of time compared to many in the crowd. So I did go to the number one source of marriage advice oh in the God. county. Greg. Close, not Greg. Oh gosh. Uh, remind me later. My phone's trying to update. I went to the Pine Cone Inn. Oh gosh. Great breakfast. Yeah. Really it good is breakfast. a good breakfast, but it also is a place of much wisdom, especially com for relationships. <laughs> Here's what I learned today. On communication, husband and fish are alike. They both get in trouble when they open their mouths. <laughs> On creative problem solving, if at first you don't succeed, do it the way your wife told you. <laughs> I'm bringing your talents and assets into the relationship. 
a good wife must be able to cook, clean, sew, dig for worms, clean fish, and most importantly, have a fishing boat. <laughs> yeah. Check, 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 check. Okay, got it. And lastly, this is also important in a relationship, maintaining your separate identity and hobbies. Shopping with your husband is like hunting with a game warden. <laughs> Again, Pinecone Inn is probably the best place for marital advice you're going to find in the county. Thank you for that. So at this point, we're going to do a special tree ceremony. Um, as many of you know, both Brian and I have a little bit of a green thumb in them. Kelsey loves gardening, planting flowers, especially at her mother's house with her mom standing over the top of her. And Brian is known as quite a farmer. And so a lot of symbolism in this, in this ceremony. They are going to be pouring each of their own soil into this tree, which they will be taking home with them and planting. And the general idea is much like love in a relationship, it takes work and it takes nourishment and a partnership between two to make this tree grow to its full potential. Kelsey did uh, ask that I read a, a, a passage that goes a little bit more in depth of this. Here today, you have brought something uh, beautiful, the relationship that is becoming your marriage. Here you are declaring it and pledging it, promising to establish and nurture it. We are here to celebrate your relationship as it is and as it is yet to be. We ask that you remember how your life together will have the same seasons and needs as your gardens. There will be growth like spring and loss like fall. There will be giving as the flower blossoms flower and rest as the seed beneath the snow. All the seasons will be yours, but remember too, are not must happenings. The more wonderful the garden, the more skilled the gardener. So you'll have to care deeply for your new tree and for the life that is yours, now yours together. Nurture it, appreciate your differences, and cultivate them. You'll have to take care of yourself, if no reason, then out of the love for each other. My mom suggests air squats. <laughs> and you'll need the support of family and friends to reach full growth. As for, for caringly choose to plant this tree as a declaration of your marriage, so remember its lessons for life together through the seasons that yours are to share. And may those seasons bring you and yours joy and happiness. Move these out of the way. Next journey on this pontoon ride is the exchange of vows. <laughs> Dearly beloved and honored guests, we are gathered here today to join Kelsey and Brian in the union of marriage. This union is, to be entered into, is not to be entered into lightly, but thoroughly and seriously, and with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. And now, Kelsey, will you take Brian as your cherished husband to put your full, tr full trust in him and promise to stay by his side through sickness and health joy and sorrow, so long as you both shall live. I do. And Brian. Hold on. Oh God, here we go. That wasn't in the script. And Brian. Are you ready? Yes. Is he ready? All right, great. Do you take Kelsey as your cherished wife to put your full trust in her and promise to stay by your side 
through sickness and health, joy and sorrow, so long as you both shall live. I do. I'm going to need the rings, sir. All right, why don't you just, no, oh, got them. Perfect. Kelsey and Brian will now exchange rings as a symbol of love and commitment to each other. Your wedding rings are special. Hold on. <laughs> Your wedding rings are special. One ring to rule them all. Enhance who you are. They mark the beginning of your long journey together. It's the seal of the vows you have just taken to love each other without end. Brian. Yes. Please place the ring on Kelsey's left finger and repay it after me. As a sign of love. As a sign of love. You can hang on to her hand. There you go. <laughs> that I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And Kelsey. Please place the ring on Brian's left hand. And repeat after me. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. That I have chosen you. I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. Kelsey and Brian, on behalf of everyone here, let me state that we are elated and proud that you've taken this step together. May your journey together be long and filled with love and happiness. And now by the power vested in me <laughs> by the internet <laughs> and the state of Wisconsin, it is my honor and delight to declare you are now married. Kelsey, you may kiss your farmer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to introduce, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Palmer! Take my 